Ladies and gentlemen, Trump will have a mugshot taken. Okay, this is according to USA Today. Quote, there will be no reason to cuff and walk him into police headquarters to be booked. Quote, there will still be a mugshot, fingerprints, and lots of paperwork filled out as part of the booking process. So we will see a mugshot of a former president of the United States, but I do not think we're going to see a perp walk. Okay. So you have Hunter, who obviously committed felonies along with Joe. There's an email within the New York Post that says, how can you use your influence on the company's behalf? Then, either before or after that email, Joe forces out a prosecutor, showing his impl- proving the influence that the email is asking for. And you have 150 banking transactions from financial institutions linked to Joe and Hunter that have activ- activity reports that were investigated by the banks. And, and when it's reported, well, just because there's a report from a bank doesn't mean there's illegal activity. You couldn't get a loan, not even a car loan or a bank loan, a personal loan, mortgage, if you had one of those reports, even one of those reports. There's 150 for Hunter and Joe. Then you have Hillary Clinton, who paid an FEC fine, not not arrest, for utilizing money that went to Bernie Sanders, but not Sanders, $200 million, okay? $200 million that Debbie Wasserman Schultz and the DNC said would go to a fair and neutral primary. They purchased a steel dossier, did not let anyone know, didn't follow the proper paperwork because they knew it was completely fabricated to start to begin an investigation into Trump, utilizing loyalists within the U.S. government. If you don't think that's accurate, go and look at the text messages from Michael Horowitz, the inspector general, stating specific agents said we will stop Trump. And there was a total of about four to five agents, according to Michael Horow, it's the inspector general. Okay. Then he said, well, he couldn't find any testimonial documentary bias, but there's individuals who didn't want Trump to be president. President. They used a dossier. Clinton paid an FEC fine, didn't get arrested. Then, of course, in 2016, had private servers. Now, morally superior, highly educated liberal Democrats who will probably do who Lord knows what to themselves looking at that mugshot. He'll win the if he gets Arizona and Georgia, there's no stopping Trump in 24. I don't care. Indicted, mugshot, fingerprint, it doesn't matter. Everybody knows this is purely political. This is not about the rule of law. Because if the rule of law is not applied to Clinton, you could watch the Honorable James Comey. I believe Hillary Clinton will be the 24 nominee. And she'll still lose to Trump. Even even Trump with a mugshot indicted. I don't. He won't be convicted, but let's say he is convicted. They'd still lose to Trump, just like 2016. Okay? I think that Hillary Clinton will be the 24 nominee. But if you look at Hillary Clinton, she had servers. Actual, as as the highest diplomat in the country, running outside of the United States government, according to the Honorable James Comey, you can watch the short on this channel, siphoning top secret and special access program intelligence. That's according to the Honorable James Comey. Nobody knows how Clinton and her team of people siphoned, transferred, migrated top secret and special access program and classified data from secure government networks onto servers. Would love to hear any of the national security and policy experts on Twitter who are lifelong Democrats explain how Clinton was able to transfer top secret data. We know how the, the documents went, got to Mar-a-Lago. He was a president. No matter how much Jimmy Kimmel and Democrats and, and uh, media despised Trump, he was still president. He was still your commander in chief. Now you're watching him, and then you hear, like, people say, oh, well, and I'll have a live stream, by the way, tonight at 8.30 p.m. Pacific time. So be here for the live stream, 8.30 p.m. Pacific time on this channel. Hit subscribe to this channel. 
And to my super thanks, thank you. That's below to this to the Patreon. Your support is so greatly appreciated via Patreon. Anything a month, your support is greatly appreciated. To my new Patreons, thank you. You want to go to hagoodman.com to read my writing in The Hill, The Huffington Post, Salon, The Jerusalem Post, The Federalist, and other publications. Go to hagoodman.com, become part of a newsletter there. And, um, but, but really quickly, you, you hear people online, I don't have Twitter, I don't have Facebook, you hear people say, oh, well, um, um, well, this happens in other countries. Yeah, for serious crimes. What, the, what did this man do? Oh, seven years ago? He had a romantic relationship with Stormy, and there might have been uh, a campaign finance issue that they're finding out could be criminal. These are Democrats in New York. The, the authoritarians are actually the people tormenting Trump, not Trump. Okay, they, they have it all twisted, just like they have a lot of things twisted in their minds. Okay. Trump is not going after his direct political rivals. When he asked <clears throat> that president, hey, <clears throat> you might, can you find out if Joe did something wrong? That's the extent of what he did. Can you find out? These people have been investigating Trump. Democrats have been investigating Trump in Georgia, in, in the federal government, for January, the committee. The entire world knows. The Mueller probe, they found nothing. New York tax returns, they found nothing. They know impeachment is around the corner, and Joe and Hunter almost certainly committed felonies with those emails from the New York Post and those banking transactions. Okay, they know that Hillary Clinton did commit crimes. They know that Democrats, um, the Democratic Party, the corruption within the Democratic Party is unbelievable. Corruption, they say Trump is corrupt. He's not corrupt. He doesn't need to deceive anyone to get people to vote for him. He is who he is. You don't like his personality, the wall, record low poverty in 2019, the Doha Agreement, Abraham Accords, first president and a step foot in North Korea. These are policies and achievements. You don't like it, don't vote for him. Okay. Democrats, if you don't vote Democrat, you aren't who you are, Biden says, and it's a big problem. Then, oh my God, your friends will leave you. It's a big issue. And the, the, the environment, as he pumps the world, a country full of 200 million barrels of strategic petroleum reserves, Many Democrats, a great many, I'm not saying all, and I love, like Christopher Hitchens is an inspiration to me. He is a literary inspiration and a philosophical, like, I think he's, a, he's absolutely brilliant. But the, there's a great, there are a great many atheists within the Democratic Party, and that's fine. Nothing wrong with me an atheist. But an atheist that replaces uh, religion with politics, you're still believing in, it's still a religion, Okay, the religion of most Democrats, the, what gives them spiritual sustenance is politics, groupthink, and being accepted. That's why you have rock and roll bands kicking people out. You have rock, what ha they've even destroyed rock and roll in addition to the economy and foreign policy. So it's like nothing safe. It, it, rock and roll used to be like the last refuge of you know, individuality, it doesn't exist. The Demo If you don't do something, the band's going to kick you out. But see, again, Democrats worship groupthink. They can't, that's why you don't have, like, Trump voters disowning liberal Democratic friends. You have liberal Democrats, how dare you? How could you? Well, I, want, I want record low poverty in 2019. Is that too bad? I, want, I don't want 90 seconds to midnight, which is what we have now. And you think that because of Biden's foreign policy, according to the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists, you think that uh, Trump committed a crime and he's a mugshot. Oh, my God, it's going to be so... People are going to wear that mugshot just the way that uh, liberals, uh, who, socialists, wear the che, che Guevara shirt where they buy it and it's purchased and made for profit. This is not socialism or communism. And so... Trump, the Trump shirt's going to be worn by everybody, okay? It's going to be, he'll be even more iconic. They'll love him. People will love him even more. His popularity will skyrocket with that because they know it's not about, it's not about whether he's a criminal. It's not about the rule of law. Democrats have utilized local, the New York 
city government to go Democrat Tammany Hall Democrats went after a Republican. Congratulations. The true authoritarians are now going to speak this week. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe to this channel right now. Be here for the live stream tonight. The live stream tonight at 9 oh no, yeah, 8:30 p.m. Pacific. Thank you.